Hey there, what is going on guys? Today I want to show you 5 Minecraft 1.12 mods that are just some small fun mods to play around with. Now, Minecraft 1.12 hasn't been out for very long, and unfortunately that means we don't have a lot of mods updated or new mods created for this version of Minecraft just yet. It usually takes a bit of time for these to come out. So, I decided it would be cool to show you 5 small fun mods that are already out early and uh, you can just check them out. They aren't game changing by any means, but they are something to check out and play around with nonetheless. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with a bit of an honorable mention. I just wanted to share the Creeper Confetti mod because it's just a small cosmetic mod that I'm sure somebody out there could find a use for. I don't want to add it into the official list because it's almost too small of a mod. It's just a mod that adds in confetti when creepers are killed. It doesn't really add in a ton to the game, but I just really wanted to share it so I'm adding it here. Again, Creeper Confetti mod is an honorable mention on this list. So let's move on to the official list now. To start off, I have the Death Quotes mod. As you can tell by the name of this mod, this adds in some funny death quotes when you die. The best part about this mod is that you can change up the quotes and add in your own quote in the config file for the mod. You may not need to though, because there are over 619 quotes by default in this mod. So, when you die, you have 619 options of quotes that you may get in chat. And yes, when you die in multiplayer, your friends will see the quote, so be prepared for a bit of teasing around if you die. So this isn't a crazy mod by any means, but it's something fun. It's a small mod added into the game that may give you a laugh. There have been quotes on the screen while I've been talking about the mod, but if you want a couple, here are two death quotes. Congratulations, nothing left but a greasy spot on the ground. And I blame Microsoft for everything. <laughs> so there you have it, the death quotes mod. Next up, we have another very simple mod. In fact, you could technically make something like this in vanilla Minecraft with some commands, but let's talk about it anyway. <laughs> so this is called the Beatdown Stick mod. This mod literally just adds a stick into the game. The Beatdown Stick can be found in various dungeons and such throughout the world. The chances of finding the stick are very low. The reason you may want to find this stick is because it allows you to deal damage of max health to entities, so you can kill mobs with one hit essentially. The stick has a low durability of 21, is extremely rare to spawn, and it doesn't damage through armor. Additionally, you can find a version of the beatdown stick in creative mode that deals the max damage possible, has no durability, goes through armor, and hurts creative mode players. So again, while you could technically form something like this in a vanilla game, it would require you to use some commands and do some additional work just to get it. This mod allows this cool beatdown stick to be added into the game and be available in a normal survival experience. This next mod has been a pretty popular one for a while now. Similar to the ever so popular Lucky Block mod, Chance Cubes allow you to open up mystical blocks and obtain random rewards. Well, rewards that are either helpful or devastating, I suppose. Of course, any mod of this type is great to add into a mod pack, and this has been featured in some pretty popular mod packs like Foolcraft, Project Ozone 1 and 2, and Sky Factory 2.5 and 3. 
Originally inspired by Lucky Blocks and the Twitch streamer Wild, Turkey, the mod creator, added some of his own twists and changes to separate this mod from Lucky Blocks. Between hordes of zombies and death traps to building full massive villages, these blocks add in a ton of different surprises that you may not expect to see. The mod doesn't just add in the normal chance cubes, you'll also be able to come across the chance icosahedron and the giant chance cubes. Each having their own special qualities and changes to normal chance cubes. The mod itself also adds in a number of different tiered pendants, a silk touch chance pendant, a creative chance pendant, a reward selector pendant, and the chance cube scanner. To try to keep this as short as I can, I'm not going to go into detail too much about the giant chance cubes, the pendants, or the icosahedron, but on the download page in the description for the mod, you'll be able to find a GitHub wiki link that will give you all of the details you need to know about the mod. The Personal Cars mod is a mod that I've actually featured on my channel in the past. If you're looking for a more in-depth explanation of the mod, check out my mod review for a previous version of the mod. I don't explain everything, but it gives you a more full explanation of the type of cars in the mod and how the mod works. I'll link it in the description for you to check out if you're interested. Anyways, apart from self-promotion, let's actually talk about the mod a bit. The mod adds in five types of cars, the compact car, the SUV, animal transporter, the truck, and a race car. The cars come in four colors, green, red, blue, and gray, or silver, whichever you prefer to call it. The reason it is called the personal cars mod is because every car in the game has its own unique identifier and after crafting a car you can pair it with the key. That means that only the key owner can open and close the car. So if you're using the cars on a server with your friends you can own your car and not really have to worry about it being stolen by those little thieves. Each type of car has its own qualities. For example, the race car is fast but has less health points than the SUV or truck. So each car has its own acceleration, maximum speed, health points, and some other smaller qualities that you can learn about. So there you have it. Get yourself a new SUV or a race car to drive around in Minecraft. The final mod I'm sharing in this video is the Derp Cats mod. Now this isn't a perfect mod by any means, but that's why I love it. I'm easily amused, so things that are odd or random or just seem a bit weird typically amuse me. <laughs> Again, as with most mods, the name kind of explains the mod better than I can. It's literally a mod full of derpy cats. Now, I wish the models of the cats were a bit different. The cats are pretty big. I would like them to be maybe a bit smaller, but I suppose that's part of why I like the mod too. It's just odd. And for reference, when I'm saying it's odd, I don't mean it in a negative way. I actually really like this mod. I think the models for the cat could be a bit better, but I'm not sure that it would benefit or hurt the mod in any way. Anyways, there are a number of different cats in the mod, including the fart cat, the exploding cat, grumpy cat, companion cat, mean cat, robot cat, space cat, hop cat, giant cat, spider cat, hot dog cat, and the old cat lady. I really like the old cat lady. It's a remodeled villager that is literally just made to look like an old lady that spawns a bunch of cats around her. <laughs> Most of the cats are pretty self-explainable in terms of what they are able to do. For example, the hop cat can jump in the air really high, and the fart cat farts green sparkles. <laughs> the mod also adds in catnip, a catnip block, a circuit board, and hot dogs. There are also some planned featured for this mod, like a cat dimension. So yeah, there you have it. The ever so derpy and interesting derp cats mod. 
So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank all the mod creators for their work on these mods. I really do enjoy all of them, and I liked playing around with them. So all credit goes to the mod creators, so make sure to check them out. If you want to check out the mods, they are in the description. Finally, if you are new to the channel and enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my other videos. You may enjoy them too. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out of here. See ya.